Never duplicated, always complicated. Ah, yes, Ooh, I'm on it today, honey. Got my new apron on. I'm feeling myself in my little black apron with my pearls. Okay, a birthday gift. Thank you to my sister, D. What's up, y'all? I know y'all been looking for a new video, and today I got one for y'all. Now, excuse me if I got a glare on my, my spectacles. I don't have my uh, contacts in today. I'm trying to get my eyes a little rest, uh, get a little infection over there. So I'm in my glasses today and I'm in raw form today. And uh, if you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find something that you can use in your life. And uh, you know that you'll subscribe, like, Share, comment, talk to me when you see these videos. Tell me what you think. Um, and if you are one of my long-time subscribers, y'all know you in my heart. You know I love you like I, this fat girl, loves cake, baby. I love you, and I thank you for tuning in, giving me this time. I love you. Thank you. Now, let me explain a couple of things. My husband has got some guys over playing dominoes today. My daughter has been uh, gone away for a retreat, and she's back and forth and getting herself. She just got back home, so I got a lot going on. But I still, see, see, I told you somebody was going to come in. <laughs> I got a lot going on, but I wanted to bring y'all this recipe because I'm doing it. This is a recipe that my mom used to cook for me and my brothers all the time, and we used to just love it. It is salmon croquet. Croquet, croquette, croquettes, and I'm gonna make some smothered potatoes with it as well. So, uh, and my husband is getting his ice, I'll tell y'all what y'all gonna need. Mm. Right. I'm gonna get a little ice, put it, I'll take a drink. I hope it don't keep it from winning the domino guy. All right, so I'm gonna make some salmon croquette. And what you're gonna need is some salmon croquette, some salmon in a can. Like, I use the pink uh, salmon, and I have already taken the skin off of this salmon. I have already taken the bones out. You can leave these bones in here when you cook this, you guys. The bones just have a ton of vitamins in the skin. You can, all of this stuff is good for you. I just prefer to take the skin and the bones out. <laughs> I just prefer to take the skin and the bones out on mine, but you don't have to do that. It's a preference. Uh, but they are definitely not the really hard bones that's going to get in your throat when you're trying to eat. They are very thin and brittle bones, and they will break right on up. So since I have said hi to you guys, you see my little black apron. Now I'm going to put the um, camera on the food, and I'm going to get us started and let you see what I'm doing, okay? I'm gonna start my pan to get hot for my salmon and for my potatoes. Really, I could start my potatoes way quicker. Let me cross over you guys. And I'm gonna get you closer to the salmon croquet. My son did this, so y'all know it's up high. Way higher than I need it to be, okay? So now we're gonna go right on in here and I'm gonna we're going to prepare this salmon, okay? So like I said, this is just some pink salmon out of a can that I have deboned and taken the skin out of, okay? Y'all see that okay? And all I'm going to do is put this salmon in this bowl. I have squeezed a half of lemon on this salmon as well. Y'all know whenever I do any kind of fish, I'm going to use me some, um, some lemon. It just breaks down that fish taste. And I don't care what kind of fish it is, how fresh it is, and how delicious it is. It's going to have a fishy taste. And uh, lemon just cuts through that taste for me. 
so it's just a preference as well. If you like that taste, you know you may not need to squeeze the lemon. But the lemon is not going to hurt anything. It's just going to boost up that taste for you in that fish or in that seafood. And it's not going to uh, hurt the taste at all. Okay? So we got our salmon right here. Give me a fork. What I have cut up right here, you guys, is um, I've got a, about six uh, stalks of green onion. I don't know why I'm out there trying to sneeze. I don't need to use <laughs> Excuse me, you guys. Green onion, and I've got a whole bell pepper. So I'm going to start with just throwing half of this in here for now, you guys, and see what I think about that. I just cut the whole thing up. Like I said, this is green onion and bell pepper, okay? And I'm just going to start flaking this together. I can see some little bones, like, like I'll show you one and how brittle and thin they are. I mean, you can barely even see that and it just it disintegrates right on down into there. You know, it's not going to do you any harm. Let's see, can y'all see this? It's not going to do you any harm to have those bones in there. But if I can see that spine bone and I can see all those little spiny things, I just take it out. It comes right on out with one little pull, so it's not something hard that you have to do to get them out, okay, you guys? So all I'm doing right now is just incorporating those bell peppers and onions together. And I have green onion and bell pepper. You can just do green onion, you can do bell pepper, you can put anything in here that your heart desires. This is so personal to you. This is the way I remember getting it when my mom made it. Now anytime you're gonna do a patty, you're gonna have to have something to hold it together. So you use an egg to bind this together, okay? I'm gonna start out with one. And the reason why I'm saying I'm starting out, you guys, is because it has been probably over 10 years since I have made this. My mom used to make it for us all the time, but it's not something that I make for my kids. I think I've made it for them twice, and they were almost adults. So this is just some parsley that I'm gonna pour in here. This is some Old Bay lemon and herb. Y'all know that's my, that's my boo when I'm fixing some seafood. I gotta dig in for the, for the Old Bay lemon and herb. I use it quite often. Okay, some black pepper. Bloop, bloop, bloop. No, I am about to hot. Some salt. And some garlic powder. And I'm gonna put a little uh, breadcrumbs in here as well, you guys, just to make sure that when I make this patty, it doesn't fall apart. And this is just some plain uh, breadcrumbs. Just gonna pour some just right in here. All right? You are looking for a consistency that's, uh, yeah, I'm definitely, with this being two cans, you guys, I'm gonna need both of those eggs, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead on and break that other egg in there. If you want to, you can beat your eggs first before you put them in there. But I know I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be making sure that this gets incorporated in here really good. This is what you have right now. Let's see if I can see. Yeah, just mixing it all together, okay? And the thing about this, you guys, is when you get this all mixed together, you can actually taste it. Give it a taste. It's everything in here is, uh, you know, you can taste it. It's nothing in here that's gonna make you sick if you give it a little taste. You know, you want it to be able to form a ball, okay? And you want it to stay together. So I'm gonna put a little bit let me taste this a little bit. I'm just gonna give it a little bit on, a little bit to taste like that. Mmm, it's got a really good taste, you guys. Okay, nothing hard, right? So all I did was put black pepper, salt, garlic powder, breadcrumbs, parsley, and some Old Bay in here. And my green onions and bell peppers. 
that I chopped up finely. Okay. Put those in here. Okay. So let me move some of my stuff out the way. All right, you guys. Let's see what we got here. I don't want to put nothing else in here because once you do a patty and you start putting a breading on the outside, you're not going to be able to change the taste on the inside. So make sure you got what you like. Okay. It's got a really good taste. What this is, you guys, this is just about a cup of uh, flour. And this is just a package, just a, a yellow, a package of yellow corn mix, uh, cornbread mix. I like the thinness of the uh, cornbread mix as opposed to just getting cornmeal. So I just take the, the package because I just want to, you just want a light dusting of a crust that's on the outside of your, of your, um, of your salmon croquette. But you know what? Let's start these potatoes right quick. I'm going to turn y'all around. I'm going to start these potatoes because that salmon croquette is going to cook so fast. So let's get started on these potatoes. Now what I have right here is just a little oil. Not even enough to cover the bottom really. Just uh, a little bit. When you're doing smothered potatoes, the way to get them to smother is you have to um, have a little oil. You have to have some water and you have to cover it. Otherwise, it's not going to be Let's see if that's not the top. I'm going to put the top So let me show you how to get this started. What I have right here is just some, um, let's see, can you see everything? I'm going to move you just a little bit to the side so you can see what I'm doing. All right. There you go. So what I have right here is some potatoes that I cut, and I cut them pretty thick. They're in water, clean water. Uh, they've already been washed, cut, and now they're just sitting here ready on me. And I have them in some clean water. This is my hot pan that's got a little bit of oil in it, and I just showed you how much. I have this on about medium high. I'm going to start adding my potatoes to this hot skillet. I hate doing this part because I hate that popping. but. That's a part of it, ain't it? Okay, so we're just gonna add them straight from the water into this pan. Okay. You wanna hear some popping? You're gonna see some popping. Get ready. I hope it gets me every time. Okay, I'm gonna do about half of these potatoes into this to this skillet. Cover the bottom, okay? That's what I'm doing. All right. Now I'm gonna take a small onion and half of a large bell pepper that I cut in pretty big sizes. Can you see that? I'm gonna put it right on top of here. All right. And then I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper. Put the other ones on top, okay? What you want to do with some other potatoes is you want to let them start to cook a little bit, get a little brown on them. Take about six to seven minutes to let them start doing their thing. Before you cover them, you want them to start to cook. So, first, you're just going to let them cook for a second. All right, get rid of my water. Put some more salt pepper on the top layer. And that's all I pretty much season these with. I might throw some garlic powder in here as well. But I just like salt and pepper uh, on my smoked potatoes. All right. So we're gonna let them start to cook. Right? Might even let them get a little brown on them. Mm. 
Now I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna start to dust my salmon croquette. Let me cut it, cut up the little pieces of the salmon croquette. I'm gonna put it on medium high as well. Okay. And it's the same thing. I don't have a whole bunch of, of oil in here. About enough to cover the bottom of this skillet. Okay. I'm going to check this and see if this oil is hot. I have some water right here. Pretty hot. Hot enough. Yeah, you want to really show up. Okay. Top around. Okay. I think you're ready to cook stuff. Still got enough. Okay, so let's go back over here to the croquette. To the croquette station. Okay, so there we have our little croquette, okay? Got our grease. I'm gonna make me some salmon uh, pan. Now they call them salmon croquettes, why? Because <laughs> they are supposed to be like the size of croquette. When you play croquette, okay? I'm not gonna make them super huge and I'm not gonna make them teeny weeny. I like them to be a good size. I like a patty more so than a croquette because I like to put stuff on there. So that's a tablespoon that I'm using. No, that's really not a tablespoon. That's one of the tea teaspoon. That's not one of my jet rolls. So I'm gonna make it, I don't want it super thick and I don't want it super little. I just want it just about the size of my, the middle periphery of my hand, about that size, okay? So, these are gonna cook pretty fast. My potatoes will still be cooking while I'm trying to get these ready, so. And all I'm gonna do, you guys, can I, can y'all see this? Let's see. I'm just gonna dust it just like this. I'm just gonna put a little bit on that side and a little bit on this side. I just don't want it to be something that's over, you know, you're not, you're not frying chicken. You just, you know, you're just getting you a little crust on the outside of your salmon croquette, okay? That's all you're doing. Just want it to be a light dusting of a, of a, of a crust, okay? It's like that, so you can still see kind of through there. Isn't that pretty? She's so cute. I'm gonna sit it right here. It's gonna do me about two more, cause that pan will probably hold about three. That's not my big giant pan, okay? Again, about three little, about three spoonful. Then my potatoes. Okay, they looking good. I'll show y'all in just a minute. And I'm just going to put it down, put some stuff on top of it. Some stuff. Right. Put me a little dusting on it. If you see a lot of, of uh, breaking, you know, be careful about that because that means it's not going to stay up in your pan. You, you want to make sure you get it together before you put it in the skillet, okay? Just like this, you guys. See that? I'm not doing nothing hard. You see that? Right? Got a good little crust on both sides. Good little coating on both sides. Okay? One, two, three. Yeah? I'm about to drop them in the skillet. Now we are a family of five, okay? And this is two cans. So, uh, uh, what's the name? Honey Boy Pink Salmon in a can. And, uh, I got them at Walmart. 
probably about $2.85 a can. Okay? So we got our three patties right here. Okay, let me wash my hands, you guys. We're gonna drop these right in the pan. Let me turn y'all around. See if these potatoes going. Turn y'all around. See what y'all so y'all can see. Okay, so now we're about to drop these salmon croquettes in, okay? I think all three of them will go in here. And once they're golden brown, you guys, they're already, they don't take no time to get ready. You know? It's just like frying up some pan fish. Pretty much already done. You just want it to get hot and get pretty. That's it. Okay? That's it. So these potatoes, you see these potatoes, right? Once they start to get a little softness to them, and the reason why I make them so big and so um, thick is because they break down this way a lot. And I still want some good potatoes when this gets through breaking down and, and uh, steaming up and everything like that. So they're getting soft already, you guys. What I do at this point is I put like a half a stick of butter in here. Lay it on, mix it around a, a little bit. Move it around a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna put the whole thing in there. I'm gonna put that one in there on that side. I'm gonna put this one in here on this side. One thing about this meal, man, you will make a mess. Cornmeal be everywhere. <laughs> Grease popping everywhere, but baby, you talking about some good eating. Ain't gonna be nothing. Ain't gonna be nothing mess about that part. Okay? So now that I have that in there, let's check these and see what they're doing. It don't take long yet. Ah, oh, y'all. Okay. All you want us to do is get a press. And see, this is cooking fast to me. So I'm going to cut this down some when I flip it. Once I flip this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're beautiful. Oh man, can y'all see that? That is so cute. So pretty. It smells delicious in here. Okay. Can I make this one flip without making a mess? Yeah, I'm just telling you, that's going against my, that's going against my way, you guys. <laughs> Go on and flip all over, child. Stop tripping. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put some love. Got a couple of caps of grease in here. Vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. Cook on, cook, baby. Okay. Mm hmm. That's gonna be so good, you guys. See how pretty those are. Now these potatoes. Now that I've dropped that butter in there, I'm gonna put my top on here, and I'm gonna take this heat down to medium. I had it on medium high. Take it down to medium, okay? Make sure that I have this on medium as well because that uh, crust is getting pretty quick. So let's go back over here. Check them out. So pretty. You'll probably have to put a little grease in the pan every time. I'm gonna have to wipe some stuff up, you guys. I can't stand all this stuff in the world. Those potatoes, I'll have them covered for about about 10 minutes before I uh, open this up and look at them again. They were already starting to get a little brownish to them. But the trick to this is if you open it, open up the potatoes. Actually, I'll keep y'all on until I take this out so we'll see where the potatoes are and then I'll show y'all what I'm talking about, okay? Right, on, right now, I just gotta wipe up some of this stuff. Yep. 
Oh, it's done, y'all. Yeah. I don't take no time. I'm gonna make me three more. I'm gonna keep y'all on so we can get the potatoes together. Because I have flour and cornmeal in there together, that's why you're getting that brown just like that. You can just do flour and a private would be a little bit lighter than cornmeal. Okay, so we're gonna make that three more. Let's see how that turned out. Let me 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 see how that turned out. I'm gonna get ready to check them out too because they're getting ready. I don't want them to burn. Ah, la, 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 la. Where is my. I'm gonna put it on something with a hole in it so that grease can drop down, even though they're not super greasy. See how dark that is? Now, see, if I hadn't did that cornmeal, it wouldn't be that dark. But that darkness is not gonna, it don't, it don't do nothing to me. I know it's not burnt, it's just dark. Okay? You see them? See that? They look like that because I actually base, put a put a crust on it. You don't have to put a crust on them. But I'm telling you, it sure tastes good with a crust on it. Okay, I don't know why I lost you guys, but okay. Let me wash out this, I'm gonna wash out this pan and put me some more grease in here. Okay, I made another pan because I don't like to keep on doing, the salmon is just gonna get darker and darker and darker because of that crust, so. Because they fry so quick, I don't mind changing out the grease every time. So I'm gonna just put this little grease in there. All right. Let that get hot. Let's check on these potatoes. See what they doing. Well, wait a minute. Let me get on and make sure I got my I'm still ready to go in the pan. Just in case. Y'all getting ready to watch the Grammys tonight? Tonight is Grammy night. My birthday month have everything in my birthday month. We got the Super Bowl. My birthday weekend is always Super Bowl. My, my birthday is always Super Bowl weekend, I must say. Is what I'm trying to say. And um, we got Grammys. What else do we have? I think we got an Oscar. No, I think that's in January. I ain't trying to take it in time. I don't know why that thing went off. It's just sitting here. I'm just getting some more patties ready, you guys, and then I'm gonna go off camera and finish. I don't want this to be a super long video for you guys. You be worried about your fingers and some oil, child. You be worried about it. Okay, so that's my last for you guys. I'm gonna look at these potatoes and then I'm gonna go off and finish them. Well, this gets super long, okay? So let's see what we got. So we got our potatoes. In order for them to smother, they have to have liquid to smother, okay? So I'm gonna put a little water in here. I said some already ready. Like that. I'm gonna turn them up. And I'm gonna put the lid on them. Okay? I'm gonna let this stuff cook and I'm gonna finish with it and I'll be back to show y'all everything when it's done, okay? 
See y'all in a little bit. Okay, you guys, I just stepped right back in to show y'all something. I had more grease this time, and I like the fry on these a lot better. Because it just seemed like they're prettier. So I would say put about an inch of grease in the bottom of your pan, you know. Not a little bit like I did. Put about an inch in there and then fry your uh, salmon in there like that. They just, uh, it's a little bit prettier than the first batch that I did. So now we're gonna all be fighting over these four. <laughs> no, I don't mind mine being dark. As long as it tastes good. But I just wanted to tell y'all that, okay? Bye. So hey, you guys, dinner is ready. Look at these beautiful potatoes. They are just gorgeous. They are just so delicious and good and they cooked up just right. You have a couple of good potatoes in there, but for the most part when you smother potatoes, you just have all these little good nuggets with peppers and onions all around it that just taste like heaven. They are so good. I just love smothered potatoes. They turn out really good. You can see where I got maybe a couple of big potatoes in there still that were able to withstand the heat. And then I got my big old uh, home style biscuits, my grands. My mom used to make her biscuits from scratch. I'm not that person, but I know how to make these grands delicious. Turned out really good. And of course the star of the, of the whole day is the Simon Conquette. They're over here. They just turned out so good, you guys. One of them broke, <laughs> and I've been uh, digging on. Well, I tasted one before the one broke, so uh, just to see if I like the taste. And honey, they are so good. You guys, there are so many ways you can make this. I mean, so many different flavors you can put in here because this fish just picks up the flavor of whatever you put in. Not super greasy, you know. This just delicious, and, and and the taste is just amazing. So I'm gonna get a little bit, and I'm gonna let y'all know what I think, honey. And I'm gonna go myself to sleep. It's Sunday, and I just I'm just like a child on Sunday. I'm just gonna get one of these little pieces that I broke off, and I'm just like a child on Sunday. I just feel like I I have to take a nap. I just be acting real silly when I don't take a nap. Now, I'm, I made a sauce, and I'll show it to you guys in just a second. I'm not going to get no bread, because I want to have a piece when I, uh, when I eat. But I made this sauce, you guys. And all I put in here was some prepared um, tartar sauce. I put a squeeze of some uh, sriracha. A couple of dashes of um, Louisiana hot sauce some dill weed, uh, some parsley, and some store prepared plain yogurt. That's all this is, and it is delicious, you guys. But I'm gonna eat this meal just like me and my brothers used to eat it when my mom would make it. When we ate it at home, <clears throat> we would get us some uh, ketchup and some uh, syrup. And we would put ketchup and syrup on our entire plate, and that's how we would eat it and sop it with the with that um, with that biscuit, honey. <laughs> and you tell my son good. Now I'm gonna do that right now with this little corner of food that I have. I'm just gonna squeeze me a little bit of uh, syrup on my plate, and I'm gonna squeeze me a little bit of ketchup on my plate. And uh, I'm going to do it for the cross family, honey. This is how we grew up eating it. Just like this. You see, I want y'all to see me when I taste it, huh, child? Because I want y'all to know that I know that I know. Okay, so now I'm going to let y'all, I'm going to taste it. Some croquet on the, on the fork. Some salmon patty. Some potato. Some other potato some ketchup, and some syrup. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is so good. 
Don't let this brown uh, color throw you out and make you think that these things are burnt or taste burnt or anything. That's just the cornmeal. And let me tell you, this food is good. And if you want to do it like me and my brothers used to do it, when you make your plate, put your salmon patty down, your potatoes, your, and get you a piece of bread, your biscuit, and take you some original kind of, uh, the original syrup, not butter, just original syrup, and some ketchup, and go to town. And I'm telling y'all, mm, mm, mm. this is my childhood right here. I cannot wait to have me a really big plate, a whole patty with my biscuit. And when I post on Facebook that this is what I'm making, I know my brother gonna have his wife looking. <laughs> Cause this is, boy we used to love these. And I don't know if they had any since we were all living together, but because they're guys. I have cooked it once or twice for my family. They weren't as, as impressed. You know, these new new age kids, they weren't as impressed as we used to be when my mom used to make it. But again, this is re what <laughs> I'm all tied up, child. This is see what Rita's cooking. This is salmon patties, salmon croquette, croquet, whatever you want to call them. This is uh, smothered potatoes and just some grand home style biscuits. And that's what Rita cooked today on this Sunday, honey. Rita did it, okay? I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. If you like my videos, tell a friend. Send them over here. Let them see what Rita's cooking. <laughs> and uh, please like and um comments on my videos as well I love when people talk to me tell me that they tried the recipe so please uh, do some commenting make sure you give me the thumbs up please that that that's crucial in these videos as well and if you are watching my videos you do have to watch a certain amount of minutes in my videos to make my videos count toward my um, my views so make sure that you're looking at least half of the video. <laughs> I hope I keep you um, engaged enough that you will watch the whole thing. I know it's a lot of time to take out of your day, but it's for your family, it's for yourself, and uh, you know, we gotta eat, so um, I think I'll just let it go right here, right now, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching all my foodie friends. You know I got nothing but love for you, baby. Bye-bye.